Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. We're working on page five. Sorry, I left my keyboard and everything in the way. I don't want to put it all the way back because it bounces the camera all around. This is going to be a simple page with a belly band. So there's really only one cut and it's two and three quarters by nine. Two and three quarters by nine. You're going to score a half inch on the top and bottom. And I already marked a tick for the center and the center. And we're just going to line those up and lay this in. Pretty simple. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to let it fall to the other side. Okay, so before, no. Yeah, I want to go ahead and put this down. I was, sorry, thinking out loud, sort of. Um, okay, we're going to come across. I just tuck that under. We've got our nice little belly band. So this is from the 8x8 collection pack. Let me show you the, the image. And on the opposing page, um, it's the 12x12 12 12 scale of this. So this is the 8x8. <clears throat> This is going to go on the belly, is that right? Sorry. It goes this way. <clears throat> so I'm going to put the centerpiece in first. I do like to have the color there so I can see the edges. And it appears then I've got everything inked, so this is going to go super fast. Okay, now we're going to put in the left and then the right. And then this is the last piece. <clears throat> I keep getting stuck on the flange. Oh, I'm just fumble fingers today. Okay, here we go. Okay, now I went ahead and created a seven by seven mat and I used a scallop for the corners and I covered it with this beautiful rose paper. So it's gonna go in just like so. So let's go ahead and pull in page four so you can look at the two side by side. So here's page four and page five. I think they look lovely together. I'm going to try to find a little something to put here. 
Now, I also want to share with you, uh, while I was working on this, I went ahead and added these two cut aparts here. And then here's just a, a two by three, what would be a two by three photo, as you can see, it would look very nice here, or two and a half by three. So, uh, oh, and I also added this chipboard piece. So I just added a little bit of bling on the inside. I think I want to do something here. So I'm going to pull out my goodies. Okay, and we're going to find something to put here. I think I might just want to do it like a floral array, something like that. Let's pull the page back in. I like it. That's what we're going to do. So this was a sticker, um, but I mounted the sticker on top of chipboard, traced it with my embossing tool. Um, this is the end that I used, and then I just fussy cut it. So I'm going to put it right there. I like it. <clears throat> there we go. So I'm going to call page five done. Okay. Now, if I have enough paper, I'm going to go ahead and put something on the back of this, but for the moment, I'm going to be careful with my supplies since I'm uh, not even halfway through my pages yet. This is page four or five, and then we're on to page six. Be back soon.